Hey guys, it's Jason. Time to take you back and show you a little bit of the work that went into preparing the Tacoma and the Forerunner for season two. You're watching The Build, another preseason episode of Mountain State Overland. overland gear organize your stuff enjoy your time outside 100% made in the US of A removing the bumper oh yeah <laughs> trying to there's one more yeah, Matt's, Matt's doing a little retrofit to the Tacoma bumper for the forerunner um, sometimes you gotta improvise. Sometimes you gotta pull out the welder. We're pretty, we're pretty certain it's gonna work out. It's gonna be a good fit. It's, it's gonna be uh, pretty much what we wanted for the for the forerunner. Twelve wrench. Please. Anybody find a twelve? You guys know where twelve is. So why, so why are we welding it as opposed to bolting on there? Uh, well, primarily because it wasn't designed for this vehicle, um, so we sort of had to improvise and we had to move it to where we wanted it uh, to get the winch in, uh, to where we could get it in and out, where it was serviceable, like I said. Um, so, plus it's going to be a good solid mount. Matt, what do you have to say about all the hours we spent working on this Forerunner? I'm glad we're done. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. It's be good when it's on the road. On the trail. Doing something fun. Uh, we're adding the Warren um, Xeon 8 with the steel cord. Um, seems like super well made. It's going to be a nice fit. Uh, should be all we'll need for that vehicle in the Tacoma. Um, get us out of pretty much any situation, hopefully. Uh, we did a suspension, an old man emu suspension. We're, that went on pretty well. Um, took some time, but you know, a few rusty bolts. 14 year old vehicle. Um, it all went together pretty well. Uh, the ride's good, it's starting to mellow out, it's not nearly as stiff as it was. Um, and we've added, gosh, we've added a lot. Um, that gave it a little bit of a lift. It's going to allow for a lot more weight in the front end, a lot more weight in the rear end. Primarily because we're going to be hauling a lot of gear. Another really key uh, component we've added was the white knuckle off-road uh, sliders. Um, we got those a couple weeks ago. We fixed those on there really good. Um, they, seemed, they went on really well. Really perfectly matched the vehicle to the lines. Um, pretty, pretty excited about those. Jason kind of made a deal uh, with the guys at Fast Signs in Salem um, and they put together a really nice design. Jason did some of the work himself, him and Joe there at Fast Signs, put together a really nice design, um, wrapped the vehicles, put the sponsors on the side. Uh, it's a really cool mountain sort of scene along the side in black, so it goes well with the, the silver of the, the Forerunner. Um, and it's, it'll add some protection, you know, from dirt, rocks, whatever. Um, not that we're too worried about that, but uh, you know, it's it looks really good, and it's you know, it sort of has some function to it as well. Well, in the Tacoma, we have a house battery, 
um, and we have a starting battery. The starting battery is the truck battery. Um, it operates everything that came stock on the vehicle and the house battery operates everything that in every electrical accessory that we've added to the vehicle. Uh, there's a fuse panel under the hood and there's a fuse panel um, here in the back of the truck as well. Um, in the back of the truck we have a 12 volt outlet for a cigarette style plug and we also have USB outlets here. Um, there is an inverter that came stock on the vehicle so that comes in handy specifically to the laptop. Under the hood we've got the fuse panel there to access um, for lights and things like that that need to be on the front of the vehicle. So the setup's really solid, it's completely custom. Um, don't be discouraged by setting up your own dual battery system because all of the accessories and parts can get very expensive and you can do it yourself. So in the back of the Tacoma and the back of the 4Runner as well, we have Ingle MT45 fridge freezers from Ingle USA. Uh, both fridge freezers are sitting on top of Timbo Tusk slides, so when it comes time for a lunch stop or um, campsite uh, food prep, uh, we slide the fridges out. Um, underneath each fridge slide is a cutting board, so you can pull out the cutting board, you prep the food, you cook, you load it up, you slide it back in, close up the fridge, you're done. Um, really happy with the performance of the fridge. I've got dogs jumping in and out of the back of the truck all the time. Um, by nature, I'm going to get a lot of dust in the back of the truck as well, even with a cap on it. I'm um, really happy with the performance of the fridges and we're really looking forward to getting some use out of these things. We're going to be spending a lot of time on the road and moving a lot of equipment between two vehicles, so organization is important to us. We're using Blue Ridge Overland gear in the cab and the storage areas of both vehicles to maintain sanity on the open road. Goose Gear helped us design some adventure boxes for the Tacoma. This is a short bed Tacoma um, on the passenger side. There's a full length drawer that slides out. It locks in and locks out. So if you're on a hill, you don't have to worry about the drawer giving one way or the other. Um, behind the fridge on the driver's side, we have um, another Goose Gear unit and that unit hinges open um, because to be able to access that unit, you need to climb in or reach in to be able to lift it out to get your gear. So we leave our more essential items in the drawer for easy access and the things that we only use or need to get to at camp we put in another unit. So really happy with Goose Gear, um, some awesome people, and uh, they really make some solid equipment. We've got Max Tracks mounted to the roof of the Tacoma and the roof of the 4Runner as well. Um, the Max Tracks have been elementary in getting us through some very sticky situations here early in season two. Uh, we've used them for bridging purposes. Um, and we use them for traction solutions in the wet and slimy and sticky stuff. So working in conjunction with a winch or just as a traction solution, um, it's a wise investment. For rooftop storage here on the Tacoma, we've got Prince Hugh Design Studio roof racks. We've got a top rack over top of both the cab and the cap. Here on the cap, we've got a Cascadia vehicle tent. Over top of the cab, we have reserved space for max tracks, dry storage, and other miscellaneous items that we cannot fit in the back of the truck. Um, super easy installation, and really looking forward to getting some solid use out of this thing this year. So on both the Tacoma and the 4Runner, we're running with rooftop tents this year. Um, both trucks are outfitted with Cascadia vehicle tents. Um, the biggest advantage for us thus far is the simplicity of finding a campsite. Um, in order to improvise on short notice, uh, we got to be able to throw our tent up wherever we can. And if you can get your vehicle there, you can throw up a tent. Um, so aside from the comfort and the reserved space for our sleeping, we don't have to hassle with bringing tents in and out of the truck and setting up sleeping bags. Um, it's all there on the roof when we need it.